to vibration um love reading for the virgo sun moon horizon sign i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back i'm so sorry but it's hot it's the month of september so let's look at the love energies for the virgos and see what is coming in ladies and gentlemen the month of readings are out please go back and look at the full moon readings um download um your uh, monthly readings because those monthly readings the extenders are so powerful a lot of people are talking about the extended how much information they have to work with in a month check out the on demand it's just a dollar 99 and you get another full hour and it shows you what's there for your money love um what's going to affect you and where it's going to affect you career wise that sort of a thing so it's it's like it, it touch every every part of the month what would affect you in the month readings okay so ladies and gentlemen let's check out and let's follow the angels of love light beams universal angels archangel raphael archangel michael the seraphini angels and all the angels of love to come in while we do the virgo um reading now virgos i'm seeing that some of you young men are going to be um meeting um someone from past life this is message for some of you out there and this is freaky because it's as if you have met this person in a different dimension on this planetary field and it's as if they come back up in your life some of you could be doing dream time and meeting this person um this is just going to be so wonderful because this is someone from a past life a lot of you virgos especially via the dream time is going to go visit your twin flames and soulmate that is also coming up there is a lot of you virgos that is going back and trying to find your past love via the dream time so whatever is happening with you virgos because it is your birthday month you're vibrating in your own zodiac energy vibration so this is also powerful for you virgos but what i'm what i'm feeling and happy birthday to all you virgos who are having bir birthday in september um i want to say to you virgos um it, it is as if it's an healing especially in love it's an healing for you guys so you're healing your past relationship all your past life relationship if you have been on the karma wheel i'm seeing a transition i'm seeing this transition that is coming true for you virgos so this is a message for the virgos out there is that for you virgos you're going back to um dream time meditation to connect to your past love and healing like issues okay so that's a message for you virgos okay so let's see what's coming up for the love energies for the virgos um in the month of september i love you guys i have okay so we have open relationships that is the focus for some of you whether or not you're saying it or you're not open up to it some of you might consider it some of you are not considering it some of you do not want to even think about it so open relationship seems to be the energy vibration for you Virgos in this month. Now, sometimes we're not aware that it is open relationships, but what is happening, what is transpiring is basically that you Virgos are thinking, I think I love two people. I think I want to see two people. That's basically an open relationship. So once you're not in a monogamous relationship and you want to see two people, that means it's an open relationship in communication there is a lot of issues with family kids in communication for you Virgos so um, there could be that some of you Virgos are trying to get pregnant could be that some of you Virgos are pregnant some of you Virgos a relationship are affected by kids some of you Virgos want to have a family and you are going to be um, communicate and thinking about it or it has uh, um, something to do with family issues that is going on then we have fun time 
So a lot of you are thinking about open relationship because um, you don't want to be tied down on one person. Okay, so a lot of you Virgos are going to be having a lot of fun time in this uh, um, in this um, month because there is where the re the this comes up in the position of strength and um, you're you need you want to have fun in your life and that's in the position of strength fun times is in the position of strength in relationship so you know some of you have family some of you don't want family some of you wants to have family but whatever is transpired in the position of strength you are want to have fun in your life past love um, past love is going to be returning and this is what I just said that was the message for you Virgos that you are going to be going back through dream time sleep time to meet up with these past loves that is coming up the fair skin um, Caucasian um, if you're fair skin or Caucasian um, I'm seeing um, you you guys are the ones who want to have fun you're um, reconnecting with past love and you are the guys who wants to have fun okay then um, we have a lot of dating going on so a lot of you are going to be dating a lot of you are you know seeing other people going out with other people having fun um, because you don't want to feel so tied up with one person I'm seeing the young male coming in and you young males are the ones who um, really want to have open relationships okay so that was um, the tune of the game that a lot of you are going to be returning to past love a lot of you um, are returning to past love a lot of you are reconnecting with past love um, some of you um, are communicating with your partners that you want to have family that is really coming up in the strength it's all about fun for some of you Virgo the weakness is um, some of you are dealing with your past love and that you have a weakness for your past love okay now outside influence or gossiping outside influence or gossiping um, so be aware of that I'm seeing um, the Caucasian male um, some of you are thinking about finding a partner and beginning a family you're looking at the reality of what is going on around you and you want to connect with others so, now the young people between the ages of 18 and 30 um, you're reconnecting with past love because you know you're young you're coming out definitely trust trust a situation okay the situation is stalling um, for you to trust okay so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring there is a situation that is calling for you to trust okay so trust in a situation and said so trust the situation is calling for you to have faith okay so some of you could be in a relationship and is wondering about this relationship okay you know is this the right relationship should I go for this person um, and you young men because it comes up with you young men are dating so you young men are dating and um, you're wondering about this person and it is yes go ahead for this person trust trust the situation you know trust the situation and have faith because things are going to be working out the way he wants it to work out okay and that is in the sense of passion okay so some of you young people are having some real hot passion because in the position of passion is that some of you young people are dating and what is happening and what is transpiring is that there is so much passion that is going on give your relationship a chance okay so some of you have a children and you're feeling so tired you want to give up on your relationship because um, but give your relationship a chance what they're asking for is let go and give this relationship a chance whatever is transpiring um, give this relationship a chance because they are basically saying to you have faith have faith and let it go some of you um, Caucasian needs to release yourself from your ex you're still holding on to your ex when your ex has left you. Um, so some of you Caucasian have a 
been still holding on to your ex you need to release your ex because your ex has left the building and it is time for you to move on um, in your life some of you are going to be reconnecting with a past love and this is going to be the love of your life okay so some of you are definitely going to be reconnecting with a past love and whoever this past love is is the love of your life so um, this person is coming in and, and they're coming in very fast okay but um, you know it is the person that you were meant to be with give this relationship a chance it could be it's not an ex that is coming back it is someone who you have known in past lifetime okay and the person is very romantic and um, it is true love because um, true love um, is as if you're looking for that true love so a lot of you are reconnecting and going back in the dream time to find this true love and you're going to be um, meeting this person so retreat is here and this is good because what is happening is that with the fun time and the people who are having fun time people who are having fun time I'm seeing you trusting in the universe and you know because when people have fun time it's always about trusting in the universe so I'm seeing retreat at this time to disconnect from the world and this is why you're in this fun time period in your life is because you're disconnecting from the world and you're finding you're having fun in your life you're really having fun in your life and you're trying to find out what it is that makes you tick basically okay you're trying to find out what makes you tick basically so I'm seeing some of you retreating from relationship having some fun to find out who is the next person love yourself first because a lot of you that are thinking about open relationship are actually learning to love yourself first and this is the reason why you're thinking about open relationship is that you're realizing that you need to love yourself first okay um, because if you don't love yourself first all these open relationship and people who are thinking about open relationship is people who basically just need to love themselves okay and if you love yourself you will realize that um, you know I am responsible for myself and uh, that is what it's all about okay so you're if you're really 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 um, open relationship is basically you know I love myself enough that I can understand if I am in an open relationship it's first me and then the rest okay so it's about you know loving yourself to understand that sometimes I can choose not to be in that open relationship because I love myself enough and have respect for myself that I don't want to be in that sort of a relationship so um love yourself first comes up especially for people who are in open relationship or thinking about going in relationship okay some of you young people um, finance and career finance issues are a factor in your love life right now so you young people between the ages of 18 and 30 um, you are having financial issue and that is what is affecting your love life at this moment okay so it's as if some of you want to take out someone but you're not financially stable and that is what is worrying you that sort of an issue um, some of you you're working too hard so there is no time for um, relationship that could be affecting you um, and you're hoping and pining for a relationship but there is just so much that is going on and that is the reason why you are not in these relationships so there we go um, there is just a lot that is going on but it's all about um, you finding the right person you are going back healing past life relationships past life love so that you can bring in like positive alignment of energies into your own relationship so I'm loving this for you Virgos um, for what is happening it's because you are healing the past love okay you're healing the past love and reconnecting with people so you can heal the past love people um, most of you are going to start thinking about having a family of your own so um, some of you are going to be leaving the fun behind 
and think about starting a family so you're going to be hunting for the right person the right person who you want to be um, with um, or the right person who you want to carry your child um, that sort of a thing okay so ladies and gentlemen I love um, that general reading let's see what else is coming up um, for the singles so for the single Virgos what's out there for the single Virgos you single Virgos are going to be meeting your soulmate okay it just flipped out so um, this is a month where you single Virgos could be meeting your soulmate because this for you single Virgos who are looking for your twin flame and soulmate some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate so that's it um, young men you young men could be meeting your soulmate so if you're single you could be meeting your soulmate men between the ages of 35 and 45 um, that's you are going to be reconnecting with your past love okay you're going to be reconnecting with your past love so um, this is good because what is happening and what is transpiring is that um, with the energy of uh, um, the soulmates coming in some of you um, Caucasian are going to be meeting um, um, your soulmates okay so the young people between the ages of 18 and 45 you're going to be meeting your soulmates okay the connection of soulmates is coming in now the older people are going to be meeting past love that is going to be coming up so here we are I'm seeing some of you definitely wants to get married so some of you singles you definitely wants to get married okay um, reconciliation is coming with a past love so some of you are going to be reconciliating with your past love okay so someone from your past is going to be returning in your life and you're going to be wanting to reconciliate with this person so for all you young um, young single people what is transpiring what is happening is that um, you're going to be meeting your soulmate so if you are single go out there and mingle because you are going to be meeting your soulmate okay because it's a it's your birthday time and especially your earth sign it's your birthday time the universe is always blessing um, you guys with something unexpected okay so reconciliation um, past love is coming in and this is going to be very wonderful these are people from past lifetime these are good these are very positive wonderful energies are coming in the energy of the soulmates uh, for you people are wonderful because what is transpiring is that you're seeing that you're reconnecting with the right people at the right time okay let's get in and check out the couples so a lot of you um, young um, men are going to be really or young people are going to be really meeting um, soulmates past lives um, people are coming back in okay let's check out and see what's coming up for the couples the Virgo couples yeah there's a lot of couples who wants to be in open relationship some of you might get that some of you Virgos who are in relationships you um, ask to be in an open relationship and you are dealing with someone of a distance so um, that is happening some of you Virgos a lot of you are cheating <laughs> Okay, you Virgos, she never seems to fail me. Okay, a lot of you Virgos are seeing two persons or loving two persons at a time. You're Virgos, there's a really wrong. All you who are couples are in love with someone else, having feelings for someone else. Okay, this is the couple's reading, and that's all that is coming out. All right, some of you Virgos are dealing. Oh Jesus, I can't believe this, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have been hearing. Oh my God, I can't believe this. So, Virgos. Um. All right. So, okay. 
some of you who are in all right let's begin and go over this because I have to check out the other video if it was done properly okay uh, some of you who are coupled and are thinking about having open relationships you will be gifted this um, some of you are having open relationship with someone who lives um, further or abroad and you're going to be gifted this okay um, some of you are dating other people because you want to get out of your relationship for some for some of you you're just doing it because you know you can get away with it <laughs> so it's as if the person at home will accept anything that you do and this is why you're doing it because you know you can get away from it you ladies especially you ladies who are in relationship you're seeing other people and you know you can get away with it and this is why you are doing it okay some of you who are in relationship with a Aquarian Gemini or Libran this relationship is going to it was destined to end and it's going to become a friendship okay so it's as if um, you were in this relationship with this person it was destined that you both be in this relationship but it's going to be ending up as friendship okay so you could be in a relationship with an Aquarius Gemini, um, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra, and um, you know the relationship was destined to be, but now it's ending up in just friendship. And um, you know, you and this other person is going to realize it's it's best for us to just end the relationship as friendship. Okay, so. What I'm seeing here is also long distance relationship, especially um, young people in long distance relationship. This is going to be opening up for you. This is going to be happening for you. And this is going to be really, really wonderful because you are going to be finding out a lot of things that is transpiring in relationship and you're going to learn to let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. So it's as if this month is a healing month about relationships whatever relationships you're in it's just an healing month about relationships and you're going to be realizing a lot of stuff you weren't aware of I want to say thank you for being here leave a message let me know how it goes monthly readings are how that check out the moon readings um, and namaste until next time